What's going on, YouTube Universe? It's your boy Xander Wynn here, the Dreadlock Nerd. And here, we're going to do a little bit of Dreadlock Nerd talk. Um, this was something that was circulating my mind last night. And I was going to do this last night, but I was just way too tired from the other day. So I want to do it today. And um, this really got, this whole thing got sparked by an article I was reading last night. As you all know, due to San Diego Comic Con and the Justice League panel, um, one of the movies that is slated to be coming out is a Flash movie that is still back on, but it is entitled Flashpoint. Now, I've heard a lot of people, there's been a lot of, I guess there's, I guess you could say there's been a lot of negative response to that. I, for one, didn't see it as negative, and like, I have like a handful of friends that feel the same way. My thing about that is... With everything that's been going on with the WB and the DCEU, it's specifically, mainly, you know, the rumors that, or the talk about Ben Affleck not being Batman anymore, and them trying to, and them trying to usher him out at a later date, um, it kind of made sense to me that they would probably try to retcon that in some way before i get into that let me just recap for those of you who don't know and for those of you who should know flashpoint was a comic book story arc in the dc comic book universe that took place in the early well not early 2000 like that took place in 2011 the storyline is basically the flash travels back in time to save his mother from being killed by the reverse flash by doing so he creates an alternate timeline aka the flashpoint timeline where everything that he knew from the current online was changed up. Bruce Wayne is dead. He's not Batman. His father was Thomas Wayne, with his mother, Martha Wayne, being the Joker. Cyborg is actually the hero the world has known. Wonder Woman and Aquaman are at war with each other. That's destroying the whole planet. Superman didn't land in Smallville. He landed in Metropolis and therefore became an experiment. And most importantly, the Flash doesn't have his speed force powers. He's never become the Flash. The whole storyline was probably one. Of, it was probably one of the best storylines written. You know, then I mean, right now the DC Rebirth storylines, I think, in my opinion, are one of the best ones out there, especially with you know the Doomsday Clock story I getting ready to come. Um. The 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 Flashpoint storyline is actually it was actually responsible for creating the new 52 DC story comic book storylines the the flash flashpoint created the DC um new 52 um so far we've gotten a animated movie from DC animation for the flashpoint paradox and the flashpoint storyline has was kind of touched on in this DC CW Arrowverse TV show the flash only on albeit just like the first two episodes kind of kind of kind of kind of kind of kind of so with that being said the idea that i think people are take i think t people are taken back by the idea that the standalone flash movie will be basically devoted to flashpoint but i don't see it that way and i'm doing this video to discuss how and why i think not only the Flash movie being called Flashpoint works, and how and how and why a uh, taste of the Flashpoint story could work in the movie. Now, stay stay with me here, folks. I'm not going to try to be too long with this, but I just want you to stay with here, stay with me for a second. <laughs> As it stands right now, we are four DC Cinematic Universe movies in: Man of Steel, Batman v Superman, Suicide Squad, and Wonder Woman. Justice League is coming out in November, so that will be the fifth one. And I know the Flash is a, a long ways from now. With everything going on and the complaints that people have with the DCEU, I'm still holding out hope. And after watching the Justice League trailer, I think they'll start to recuper recuperate some itself a little bit more. Wonder Woman was a good starting point on the right track. Wonder Woman was a good starting point on the right track. But they still got a long ways to go. Because you got, you got essentially... Three, according to fans, three not so good movies versus one really good movie. 
That's how it is right now. So we got to consider the possibility that fans are still not pleased with what was going on. And we don't know how Justice League is going to turn out despite the trailers. So the way I see it, and again, it doesn't have to be the full Flashpoint storyline. It can just be a smidgen of it. And a friend of mine said the same thing too um, when I tweeted this out. The article is from The Verge, of course. The, the article they will be in the description box below so you guys can read it. It doesn't really say much, to be honest with you. They, they're just saying that they feel that it's too early to do a Flashpoint movie to give it the live-action treatment. They still feel that like we these characters are not as established as they should be. But here's the thing. And it's the same thing with the Marvel Cinematic Universe. If you don't know who those characters are, then maybe you should have did a little bit of research before you saw those movies. I had a... I had a basic understanding of who those characters were. Iron Man, Captain America, Thor, Hulk. I had a basic understanding of all those, who those guys were. So when I see these movies, I'm not lost like a whole bunch of other people are. Or a whole bunch of other people who shouldn't be lost. That's not the problem. It's the same thing with the DC Cinematic Universe. With the, especially considering the fact that we've had a lot of animated DC features. We got the Arrowverse and plus the previous movies from before. We should all know who these characters are at this point. So this shouldn't be a problem. So as far as the establishment of these characters is concerned, I can see to an extent as far as the cinematic universe is concerned. But other than that, there really should be, these characters should really be no mystery to any of us. They really shouldn't. And considering that, these movies, I mean, yes, they do make a few changes to some of the characters' dynamics here and there. But it's really not all that different from what we've already what we already should know. Again, the Flashpoint storyline doesn't really have to be a full-out Flashpoint storyline. Because if I'm not mistaken, the Flash himself has only been a Flash for a short period of time. He hasn't been like the Flash like for years or anything like that, like in the comic books. So, as far as we know, he hasn't come up across any other speedsters. Mainly the Reverse Flash. He hasn't met the Reverse Flash yet. Um, that could That could, that could be something they can look at, though. You know, I mean, I know it doesn't make sense to have... The Reverse Flash being the first big bad that the cinematic universe Flash comes in encounter with, but hey, they did it with the they did it with the Flash TV series. And granted, it's a TV series, so they had a few episodes to deal with the Reverse Flash as well as in with other members of the Flash's Rogues Gallery. But that doesn't change the fact that meeting the Reverse Flash can be a surprise to Barry Allen, you know. And like I said, it doesn't it doesn't have to be a full on thing. While I would like to see Jeffrey Dean Morgan and Lauren Cohen as Thomas and Martha Wayne, respectively, in a live-action universe, and I think they did that for a reason. I think that's why they casted those two for a reason. I wouldn't mind seeing them, if, even if it's for a split second. The reason how, how I think it will work is basically, you know, right now, you know, Superman is still dead. And... I still, but before I continue, I want to say that I still think that at the end of that Justice League trailer, it was still the Green Lantern that showed up. It could very well be Superman, but my second, my second closest choice to who it was at the end of that trailer talking to Alfred is a Green Lantern. That's my second choice. But, we don't know how Justice League is going to turn out. For all we know, I mean, it's more than likely that they're going to save the day, they're going to stop Steppenwolf, and then they got to worry about Darkseid. But what if, in the off chance, the Justice League lose? What if, in the off chance, they lose, even with the return of Superman? What if they lose? And I'm not saying, what if they die? I'm not saying that. But what if they just happen to lose, and then they come up with the idea of the Flash traveling, you know, maybe traveling back in time to change things around? There could be that. You know, it'll, it, could be, it could be, you know, and they can still use a few of the elements here and there. You know, they can they can probably touch on the war between the um, Amazons and the Atlanteans. They can still touch on that. You know, Batman, of, like I said, Batman, of course, Bruce Wayne could have been the one who died. And it could be Jeffrey Dean Morgan and Lauren Conan as Batman and the Joker. The Cyborg could still kind of be the hero that the world knows and loves. And they can still touch on Superman 
or I mean they can either they can do two things for Superman. They can do one where he never lands in Smallville. He lands in Metropolis. And maybe not even becomes an experiment. Maybe teams up with Lex Luthor. Or they could do one where maybe the events of Man of Steel do play out. And the events of Batman v Superman do play out. But Superman doesn't come back to life. He stays dead. Or they could do something where it's Kara who is found in Smallville. Not not Clark Kent, not not Kal El. Maybe it's Kara who was found, and then she becomes and and she becomes Supergirl a little bit earlier. There's that. There's so many different ways they can work this thing out. So, I've always said that the C T movies have the chance to play around with the universe a little bit differently than like TV shows and animated movies or animated shows and comic books. They have a, they have a chance to ch play around with it a little bit differently. But I th I think that is. It's not quite fair to completely write off the idea of the Flash solo movie being a Flashpoint movie. Again, you know, um, why why I think it'll work is because it'll be a nice way to tighten a few things up that they can't do before. Because let's face, I mean, I enjoyed, I I like, I love Man of Steel. I I love Man of Steel. I like Batman v Superman, especially the uncut, rated R version. I don't love it, but I like it. Suicide Squad, it was pretty okay. It was it's not my favorite, but it was pretty okay. Wonder Woman was just fucking lovely. Wonder Woman was lovely. And of course, we have to wait until November for Justice League. There's a, this is a chance. I mean, like I said, Wonder Woman's on the right track to setting things right up for the DCEU. But a flash to, a flashpoint storyline could be something that could really tighten things up and tie up some loose ends that the DCEU has right now or could have in the future. I had said before that, um, especially with talks with Ben Affleck not, maybe not being Batman anymore, I had said that a Flashpoint movie, I mean, really would be a good way to recast Batman if they needed to. I know Ben Affleck has said he'll be Batman for as long as Warner Brothers needs him, but you know, in the off chance that he decides not to do it anymore, the, a Flashpoint movie would be your way out. If you want to keep it in continuity, you know, you don't want to do something like where they just change the actor, you know, mid-franchise. I mean, granted, you know, it worked well for the Marvel Cinematic Universe by changing, you know, Cody Rhodes up, bringing in Don Cheadle. But, you know, you don't want to do what the old Batman movies did where you had Michael Keaton for the first two, Val Kimmer for Batman Forever and George Clooney for Batman and Robin. We don't want to do that. Well, and while we can write those off now as being those movies back in the day, we're talking about a franchise here. A franchise is something that you got to be a part of for the long haul. And if one person decides that they don't want to be a part of that franchise anymore, I think it would be best to find a way to write that person out and bring a new person in in some capacity. You know, so, I mean, that's just, that's just my opinion. I could be wrong. That's just my opinion. But I think before we start marching and marching with pitchforks and stuff about a Flashpoint movie, let's consider the possibilities of what can happen. And again, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't have to be for the whole movie. It could be half the movie. And then it could either be the first half of the movie or the second half of the movie. And then, you know, either the Flash comes back, deals with his rogues or whatever, or, you know, or just deals with the reverse Flash. We don't know. We don't know. The only thing we can do is speculate right now, but in my opinion, I do think it could work. Why I think it'll work is because it'll be a nice way to clean things up. How it could work is very easy. There's a lot of things they can, you know, take from. I mean, look at the TV show. Look what they did. You know, Flash, both Flash's parents were alive. You know, Wally was Kid. Wally was the Flashes, and they're just being Kid Flash. There's so many different things that they can do that the possibilities are endless. But that's just my opinion. I could be wrong. Um, that's really all I wanted to talk about. Again, the link for the article is in the description box below. I would love to hear what you guys have to say about this subject. Post your comments in the comment section below. Let me know if you think if if you think it's a good idea for 
the Flash standalone movie to be called Flashpoint and to be based off the Flashpoint storyline, or if it's not a good idea. If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down. Share this video with all your friends, and of course, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy what you see. Let me know if you would like for me to do a pitch, a pitch video on possible Flashpoint storylines that they that they Flashpoint Flashpoint synopsises. Synopsis, is that the word? I don't know. Flashpoint, basically Flashpoint movie ideas that they can use for the movie. Let me know in the comment section below or let me know on Twitter or on Facebook. And I'll try to put one together by the end of the week. Alright? Jetlock Nerd out. Peace.